as, as I got into the blues, you know, I talked a bit earlier. Bit of Neil Young would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> do you make a habit of humiliating yourself in public, Stuart? Yeah. Yes, I do. You've heard an Achilles heel, he's got an Achilles head. Uh, but it's all right, we, we, we should feel sorry for him. He had a wet dream on St. Swithin's night. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, one of the things about the blues is a lot of the blues actually started in, um, in whorehouses and the, the red light district, certainly musicians like Louis Armstrong, Fats Waller, Bessie Smith, Billy Holiday had early careers in houses of ill repute. So I thought, whoa, I want to be a blues man. I'll go and play some massage parlours. Right? So, anyway, do you have any massage parlours around here? I picked up. I did up. Where is it? Basing oh, Stoke Gazette. Basing Stoke Gazette. Not a single knocking shop advertised in here. Pathetic. We've got a whole page of them in my local paper, the Ealing Porno Weekly that comes out. Right. There you go. What about, I mean, do you have a rub and tug emporium in Alton? Or is that what Stuart does? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I got some. Um, <laughs> Wendy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was her main career opportunity, wasn't it? <laughs> the madam. <laughs> anyway, so so I got I got the Ian Gazette. You know, I got the Ian Gazette. Turned to the uh, adult section, and you know, found a few places. And of course, I know I went. And I'm up there, and I thought I went up and said, "Sir, can I have a gig?" Right now, what you got to think about is that a gig is actually a form of horse-drawn carriage, right? And asking for a gig in one of these places is the kind of thing that Tory politicians normally get, right? So it doesn't quite mean gig, rock and roll. It means anyway. So having you know ascertained it wasn't quite what I think about. I, I made my excuses and left. Well, actually, what I said was, "Oh, go steady on the horse, whip." <laughs> <laughs> but this is now. Now this is this is this is this is where once again we we verge from fantasy into reality. I did see in the back pages of the Ealing Gazette what I regard as one of the greatest pieces of advertising I've ever seen, and it was for the Bucks Fizz Massage Parlour, and it was a little box ad. And it said, Bucks Fizz Massage Parlour, pop in and pop your cork. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such as couldn't have come up with that, was genius. More, more worryingly, I said, you know, this is only recreational, I don't really, anyway, fuck it. Um, there was another ad, a different issue of the Ealing Gazette, which was, which was for Punishment Farm in Northolt. And it actually said, Punishment Farm, Northolt. Now, Northolt is where, uh, is the place that makes Basingstoke look like Monaco, I tell you. Um, <laughs> Anyway, just to prove I'm not making this up, right? to prove that I'm not making all this up, here is a genuine, genuine cutting. You see I work in the media, can't you? I've got the plastic folders. It's like pathetic, isn't it? You know. So I've got a proper day job, haven't you? And um, in here, in here under the um, personal section, you see that little ad up the top, that little yellow ad? You can expect this later. It says, Fresh Fish Massage, <laughs> South Harrow. Now, I'm not, you know, going to pass any great judgment on this, but Fresh Fish Massage, no, oh, give me the halibut, give me the halibut, you bitch, yeah. Oh, God, my sardines. No, look, the tuna has got to be dolphin friendly, all right? No, no, no. oh, not the blowfish, not the blow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, that cod, if it's North Atlantic, is an endangered species. I'm not having, you know. There you Thanks go. And she... <laughs> oh, come on, that's S&M, isn't it, really? 